It's now been two years since our state's largest wildfire changed the lives of thousands of people. On April 6, 2022, the U.S. Forest Service lost control of a prescribed burn. It was northwest of Las Vegas, New Mexico. It would end up combining with the pile burn that flared up after it had been smoldering for months, and that became the Calf Canyon Hermit's Peak Fire. Felicia Mera looks back at the fire's destruction and the fight for many who are still waiting on FEMA for help. I remember the sky being pitch black. You could see the glow of the fire on the horizon. It's been two years since northern New Mexicans were victims of the largest wildfire in state history, started by the U.S. Forest Service. Never before have we seen where a federally government started fire has destroyed whole forest. The relentless wind day in and day out only worsening conditions for firefighters. Our firefighters out there are fighting a battle against the amount of fire that's on the ground along with the amount of wind. The wind is uh, incredible. It's uh, precedent setting. Uh, the amount of wind we're going to have and the duration we're going to have it. Many northern New Mexicans were forced to leave family homes and sacred land passed down to them for generations. When I, my brother called me and said, well, sorry, brother, it's gone. <laughs> so what do you do? You know, I mean, it's tough. Uh, you know, my mother and grandmother are getting older every day and, and it's tough on them. It's really hard on them waiting to see where life's going to take them next. Their stories only growing more heartbreaking the longer they wait for federal funding promised to them. Federal government needs to take responsibility and pay the claims for for people who have been hurt. The federal government put aside nearly four billion dollars for victims of the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon fire. FEMA is in charge of distributing that money. And I went to apply for FEMA and they told me that I pretty much didn't qualify, first of all, because I didn't lose a home. And if I would have lost my home, it was a secondary home. So I went to qualify for that. Many people lost their generational home. They might have been living in Santa Fe, uh, in Las Vegas, uh, while they work, but their home that they inherited from their father and their grandfather burnt down. Out of the billions given to FEMA for relief, they've only distributed $464 million as of March of 2024. Many victims say FEMA isn't holding up their end of the deal as they wait for relief long after the fire has been put out. It was all well and good that they got the money appropriated for this, but step up now and force this office right here to, to do something about it. Feliz Romero, KOB4.